welcome to the testing world so this is the first session of robot framework using python programming language before moving to understand what is robot framework first i'm going to tell you there is a no prerequisite of this course if you have any prior knowledge of automation that's fine but if we are fresher in the automation again it's not going to make any impact while learning this course so here my first point is what is a robot framework so robot framework is a generic test automation framework for acceptance testing and acceptance test driven development so here we need to understand in manual testing when we are going to deliver any application to the client when we are going to release any application to the client client or my ba which is business analyst is going to perform acceptance testing on the application normally this acceptance testing is done manually here we have robot framework which we can use for automating acceptance testing process normally this testing is done by client or the ba professional and they do not have any automation tool understanding so in most of the cases they are doing acceptance testing manually but this robot framework provide the functionality they can automate acceptance testing even without using any programming knowledge so most of the tasks we can do here on the robot framework without using any programming knowledge this robot framework providing keyword for each and every task like i want to start a browser so i need not to write code for that we need to use a keyword open browser these are the predefined keywords which are provided by the robot framework so here in the robot framework i'm going to write open browser and we just need to pass the name of the browser which browser you want to start and when we execute it will start the browser so we have keyword for each and every task like i want to start browser i'm going to use keyword open browser i want to maximize the browser i'm going to use maximize browser window keyword so for each and every task we are going to, we are having a keyword i told you ba or client do not have knowledge of any programming language so they are going to understand these keywords only when they want to perform automation they need to remember only these keywords so by these keywords they can automate complete testing process also we can use this robot framework for the acceptance test driven development so in that case first my ba or the client are going to use robot framework and going to write all the test cases we can call it acceptance test cases again to write these test cases they do not require any programming knowledge they can write by using the keywords and on the behalf of these test cases my developer is going to write code so here the approach will be acceptance test driven development means first we are writing acceptance test cases on the behalf of that my developer is writing the code and while unit testing my developer is going to execute these acceptance test cases and if acceptance test cases are working fine means code is perfect so here we have seen this is the first point of robot framework utilize keyword driven testing approach that i have already explained hello friends we are offering our 25 plus video courses with lifetime access in dollar 200 If you are in India you can pay rupees 10000 for 25 courses these courses include soap ui for web service testing rest api testing by using java rest api testing using soap ui and then rest api testing using postman and also rest api testing using python we also have courses for selenium so selenium with python selenium with java selenium with ruby 
We are also having courses for database testing using SQL, SQL and Unix for tester, functional testing using QTP, which is UFT now, performance testing using load runner and JMeter, and road to big data testing. So we did the understanding with Cucumber, MySQL database. We also have courses for the scripting. So you can go for Python scripting for tester, Ruby scripting for tester, also some test management tool like we can use Jira, ALM for purchasing our video courses with lifetime access at the discounted price. You can call us 8743-913121. You can WhatsApp us on the same number as well. You can mail us testing word India at the red gmail dot. In robot framework for everything we have a keyword. Like I want to open browser, we have a keyword. Uh, I want to enter some text into the text box. We have a specific keyword. If you want to click on any button, we have a keyword. So for every task that we are going to perform in a robot framework, we have a keyword for that. So we are going to write complete test cases even without any programming knowledge by using these keywords. Its testing capabilities can be extended by using test libraries implemented either in the Python or Java. So when we are going to install robot framework, we are going to get a lot of libraries to perform different tasks. Each library have multiple keywords for each and every activity. Also, it is providing many other libraries which we can use with the robot framework. These libraries are going to provide more keywords to perform tasks on the different kind of applications. I give you an example like we are going to use a library with the name Selenium 2 library. This library is going to provide a lot of keywords which we can use while working on the web based application like I want to click on any link. So we have a specific keyword which we can use click link. That's a keyword which we can use to click on any link. This keyword is not provided by the robot framework by default. This keyword is coming in the test library, which we are going to install after the robot framework. I can give you one more example. This robot framework also support automation of mobile based application. So I'm working on an Android. I want to test Android application and on Android application. I want to perform some tasks. So that automation can also be done by using robot framework, but we need to have install a library with the name APM library. That library is providing a lot of keyword which we can use while automating mobile based applications. One more advantage we are going to get with a robot framework is that robot framework is providing a lot of keywords for performing different tasks, but we also have option to create our own keywords while defining our keywords internally we can use the keywords which are provided by the robot framework so i give you an example in robot framework when we are working on a web-based application we have a keyword open browser it is going to open the browser then we have a keyword which is maximize browser window it's going to maximize the window i'm going to create my own keyword with the name start browser and it can be any name and internally i'm going to use the keywords which are provided by the robot framework internally my keyword is using two other keywords which are given by this robot framework if i show you here i'm going to create a keyword start browser and functionality of this keyword is to open the browser and maximize it internally i'm going to use two predefined keyword one is open browser and other one is maximize browser window so here that's my user defined keyword i have defined my keyword and internally we are using the keyword which are provided by the robot framework so here we have seen what is a robot framework in next session i'll show you what all the all different kind of applications supported by the robot framework and I'll show you different kind of libraries which are available in this framework. That's all we have for the session. Thanks for watching this video. Hello all. 
Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions regarding this video, please ask in the comment section. And also, please like and subscribe for more software testing courses. Also, we are offering a wonderful package of software testing online video courses in dollar two hundred. Find us on Facebook for more offers and updates. Here is the URL: facebook.com/testingworldindia.